the fleas literally were sucking the life out of them. The photos are hard to look at. 34 puppies covered in fleas and parasites clinging to life. Horribly matted, so anemic that some of them had to have blood transfusions right away. Um, they're, they're just in really bad shape. The fleas were unbelievable. We were all caked in fleas ourselves after going in the house. Amy Hines and her team rescued the puppies last week from a filthy home in Bridgewater. Some of these dogs were so matted they could hardly move. And you know, reports from the neighbors said, you know, they were so hungry that when there were puppies, some of them would attack the puppies for food. Eight dogs were even found living in the dumpster outside the home. Another 12 dogs on the property were already dead. The house is now going to be condemned by the city because of the deplorable conditions in the house. Um, definitely a hoarding situation, which is a mental illness. Hines says the woman who owns the home is cooperating with police, so no charges have been filed at this time. Heinz's focus now is on nursing the puppies back to health. Do you guys recognize each other? This is what they look like today, much stronger and healthier. The ones that were really anemic and had to have blood transfusions, they're just now starting to feel a little better and um, look get a little life back in their eyes. Some good news out of all of this is the unbelievable community support. Groomers from across the state showed up to help. Two groomers drove here Sunday, just dropped everything and drove here from Cedar Rapids. Some of the dogs are now in loving foster homes. Others will need a few weeks until they'll be healthy enough for adoption. Laura Terrell, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.